the type of accident involving long-term loss of electric power combined with the loss of uh, coolant uh, capability could have been handled, but uh, the type of reactor we have had a peculiar feature that uh, required venting of the pressure vessel. And in order to do that, you have to have uh, some kind of mechanism to uh, release the hydrogen gas produced, but there was no provision for that. And that contributed to the severity of the accident. We also learned that once the core is damaged and you go through some period of time providing uh, emergency coolant into the core, the coolant uh, tend to get heated over some period of time. So the capability of the emergency system gets degraded. So this is another lesson that we learned and we'll have to reflect that in our uh, safety analysis. This is one of the things that I'm working right now myself. Trying to represent degraded performance of the uh, backup emergency systems and how they impact overall management of severe accident, core meltdown accident. This type of analysis uh, really hasn't been looked at in the United States yet. We have to provide uh, perhaps uh, alternate uh, cooling system even to the backup system in some sense so that the coolant that is being circulated will be able to maintain reasonable temperature and will not get heated unnecessarily. There are 30 plus uh, boiling water reactors in the United States and several of them have the same design features as Fukushima power plants. We are strengthening safety features of the uh, boiling water reactors and also pressure water reactors as well. And of course we are also building new AP1000 plant, two of them in Georgia, which are passive safety features, so that we have a large pool of water, coolant water, that can feed into, into the reactor core, fresh vessel, ju just through gravity, without the need of electricity. I believe that this is the beyond design-based accident, and we need to be better prepared to handle beyond design-based accident, although the probability of those accidents is very small. And this is an important lesson for us.